So when it comes to key tests, if the initial consultation is the very start of an IVF journey, there will need to be some initial tests done to try to evaluate the underlying reason why a couple is not getting pregnant. And very basically, this includes a test of ovulation, a test of tubal patency, and a semen analysis. So for a test of ovulation, this can be done in a variety of ways. It can be done by an ovulation predictor kit, a blood test like a luteal phase progesterone, or indeed an ultrasound to look to see the follicle on day 12 of the menstrual cycle. In the case of tubes, these are tested using either a Hycosi test or an HSG test or sometimes a laparoscopy. And a semen analysis is a detailed assessment of the ejaculate sample performed in a laboratory. Based on that result, we will then have an idea as to why that couple are not achieving pregnancy and very much direct us as to what we do next. So for example, if there is blocked tubes, really the only treatment modality forward will involve in vitro fertilization as the next step. Whereas sometimes there may be things found that might explore the options of other types of simpler treatment, such as intrauterine insemination. When IVF is required, obviously we will then explain the process and procedure required um, for doing in vitro fertilization.